Now, these are the um, items or some of the examples that I've given where we've done our excavation for our trenches, I've done the risk of collapse. The next one we will look at is our keeping excavation free of water. Now, there's nothing to abstract there, there's nothing to add, it's just an item, but every single item that you have measured must be transferred onto the abstract paper. So even if there isn't an add or a deduct, every single item must be transferred across to your abstract paper. Because remember the idea of the abstract is to put everything into the correct order so that it is it will help you when you come to put your items into the bills of quantities. Okay, so here's the example of the keeping excavation free of water. Another item that we could have a look at is our backfilling. Under the, the, the section of filling, we've got a number of different items. We're going to have filling under floors. We're going to have backfilling. Um, f I don't think you had an example of filling around the building, so you will ha definitely have backfilling. So there's my description, backfilling to size of foundations with excavated material. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the same specification that we had in our assignment, but there is our description. I'll put the unit of measurement, and then I've taken the total of the volume of the excavation. So if you want to just check that, that was on page 4. There's my excavation, there's my backfill item, and there is the total. So I've transferred that 27,51 across there, page 4. Then, when I measured my concrete footing, we go here, there's the concrete footing. Remember I had to deduct backfill. So I'm going to now take that 8,6 and that 8,6 is going to be tra transferred into my deduct column. I'm not going to say where it, uh, what item it was. I'm just saying it's on page 5. So there's my 8,6 and that we know is from the concrete footing volume. Then when we come to do the masonry, remember we've also got to deduct backfill there. So there is the item over there. There's the deduction of the backfilling. So the volume of the brickwork in this example is 5,29. That was for my one brick wall and my half brick wall. So I'm now going to transfer that 5,29 from page 6. I add those two deducts together to get a total of 13,89. And then I'm going to deduct it from my 27,51. Now in most, well, in all cases, your total should be in the plus column because the, the left hand column is going to be the plus column. The right hand column is going to be your deduct column or your minus column. So you'll always have a positive answer. You should have. If you don't get a positive answer, it means that you've measured something incorrectly and your totals are incorrect. So in this case, I'm going to take my 27,51 deduct my deduct of 13,89 giving you a total of 13,62 that is the volume of my backfill and that is what's going to go to the ball so this is the example of the some of the earthworks um, items let's have a look at some um, of the concrete formwork and reinforcement items so we're just going to transfer our um, unreinforced concrete or mass concrete we're going to transfer the description of the concrete footing across here. Again, no abbreviations. MPA is a, an accepted uh, unit of measurement, so we can use MPA, 90 millimeter stone in footings, and it's going to be cast against excavated surfaces. I've brought my total through. You might recognize that 8,6 as being the volume of the footing when we did our backfill, the deduction. So that is the volume of the the concrete footing and also the page number where that item is. So in your assignment you're going to say it's going to be assignment one page number whatever you've page numbered your your assign your your item. Okay and then I will also show you how to do the masonry item. So for the masonry item under this heading here I'm just going to put my description down. I've said uh, the total to us we've got brickwork there is my one brick wall with the full description and remember that this is in foundation you're going to have foundation brickwork half brick wall foundation brickwork you're also going to have superstructure so the idea is that you put your foundation work together and then your superstructure work together 
So there's the, the area of the foundation brickwork and that comes from page 5 of my measure that I've got here. Uh, there's my one brick wall. In this example we also had in our masonry section we also had uh, brick reinforcement. So I'm going to put my brick reinforcement in, in the correct order. So my heading or subheading of brick reinforcement I've got a 75 millimeter wide wire brick forks in brick force in found uh, brickwork in foundations. You can have both foundations and superstructure um, brick reinforcement. And there's my 115, my one brick wall, and there's the total that I have got from my measure. Let's just go and check those two totals for my brick force. So we go to the measure, and in the measure there is my brick reinforcement for my 75 millimeter. There's my calculation to get my length of my brick force, my 75 millimeter brick force, and there is my calculation to get my 150 millimeter wide brick reinforcement. And again, I'll put my page number in as well. We've also got face brickwork on this example, so if we go to our measure, there is the description for the face brickwork, 10,2. Uh, there's my description, so that's going to come out in in a uh, full description so the face brickwork is going to be put at the end of our measure so we now need to transfer the quantity and the quantity is going to be so if we have a look at the quantity is going to be 10 comma 2 for the area of the brickwork or face brickwork face brickwork in foundation so we're going to transfer the face brickwork we're going to take that quantity and we're going to put it here in our abstract 10 comma 20 and it's from page 6 so that is now the face brickwork uh, abstracted in your example, you would also have face brickwork in superstructure. So again, you'll have two face brick um, items, one of face brickwork in foundation and one in superstructure. So hopefully that explains to you how the process of abstracting uh, is done. Um, I will, as I said, I will post a, a face brick, sorry, a, I will post a abstract page onto both the whatsapp group and also onto WhatsApp. so if you want to download that and use that you can otherwise you can generate your own as long as you've got the d four different trades together and that you've put your little subheadings in transfer the items across together with the totals and the page numbers um, in a, a similar fashion i'll accept that